Section 10 of Birds, Volume 2, Number 3, September 1897. Recorded for LibriVox.org by Jen Broda. The Ruby Throated Hummingbird. Dear young folks, I fancy you think I cannot stop long enough to tell you a story, even about myself. It is true, I am always busy with the flowers, drinking their honey with my long bill, as you must be busy with your books, if you would learn what they teach. I always select for my food the sweetest flowers that grow in the garden. Do you think you would be vain if you had my beautiful colors to wear? Of course, you would not, but so many of my brothers and sisters have been destroyed to adorn the bonnets and headdresses of the thoughtless that the children cannot be too early taught to love us too well to do us harm. Have you ever seen a ruby? It is one of the most valued of gems. It is the color of my throat, and from its rare and brilliant beauty I get a part of my name. The ruby is worn by great ladies, and with the emerald and topaz, whose bright colors I also wear, is much esteemed as an ornament. If you will come into the garden in the late afternoon, between six and seven o'clock, when I am taking my supper, and when the sun is beginning to close his great eye, you will see his rays shoot sidewise and show all the splendor of my plumage. You will see me, too, if your eyes are sharp enough, draw up my tiny claws, pause in front of a rose, and remain seemingly motionless, but listen, and you will hear the reason for my name, a tense humming sound. Some call me a hummer, indeed. I spend only half the year in the garden, coming in May and saying farewell in October. After my mate and I are gone, you may find our nest, but your eyes will be sharp indeed if they detect it when the leaves are on the trees. It is so small and blends with the branches. We use fern wool and soft down to build it, and shingle it with lichens to match the branch it nests upon. You should see the tiny eggs of pure white, but we, our nest and our eggs, are so dainty and delicate that they should never be touched. We are only to be looked at and admired. Farewell, look for me when you go a main, Ruby. End of section 10. This recording is in the public domain.